All right, so we are unloading. I ended up buying uh, three fish trees, all right? Yeah, you want them upside. Uh, you want this the other way. Okay. Um, this hole is the bottom because them, these things here got to be turned Looks like, they got shims like this, in. I believe. So anyways, I found these watching a YouTube video. These are the uh, Mossback Fish Habitat, the Safe Haven by Gamekeeper. So I'm not going to explain all the reasons that uh, I bought this because, well, all right. The main reason is um, the algae will grow on this. That's a good reason. And because the PVC I put in, I found out the algae won't grow on PVC. So I invested uh, 200 bucks, and they're like 70 a piece. But uh, when you see when it's done, you'll see there's all kinds of fish will hide in it, plus the algae will grow on it, and the minnows will breed and hide in it. Okay, so uh, Mike is taking the first fish tree to the back of the pond, to the far back side where it joins the old pond. So I thought I'd get a little bit of uh, aerial footage if you looked at this very picture now, this was like four or five days ago, this thing is almost all green now with growth. So uh, it's looking much better. We got, Actually, the pond is about a foot higher from what it was with all the rain fill we had. So uh, let's just tag along here with Mike and watch him skirt this berm all the way around to the back of the dam. All right, so I'm going to meet Mike. I'm cutting through here. He went to the other side of the lake. We're gonna start putting up them uh, fish trees. So uh, let's give it a whirl, see how it goes. I'm cutting across the peninsula, taking a shortcut. All right, we're picking a spot down here. That pipe is three feet under the surface. So that should be about perfect. Four to ten feet is what they suggest. Okay, this might be a two-man job here. All right, well. Hold the board. I'll try it though. Give me a minute. Oh, we'll give it a try. We might have to loosen the dirt up some. Might have to. All right, Iron Mike's got one in. We got a big rock down here with wire tied to it. And then we got another uh, rock sitting on one of the fins there, the wings. So and we drove it in the ground. And we drove it into the ground. So uh, she's pretty nice and firm there. We're off and running. Good deal. I wish the ring had never come to me. I wish none of this had happened. So do all who live to see such times, but that is not for them to decide. All you have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to you.
All right, we got number two in right at this corner. So I'll know there's a lot of junk here. Beautiful big stump there, another stump there, and then the fish tree here, and all these rock piles here. So this one we pounded down in about six inches or more in the dirt, and we laid some rocks on it for weight, and it's really nice and sturdy. So uh, really looking good. Now, if we could just see that water come up and over the top. This one should be uh, between five and seven, eight feet deep. All right, and there's the last one right by this little excavator built point there. We say, Mike, that was good work, man. Awesome. Can't wait to catch a big old bass from under there. Yep. And eat it. We should go make a topwater video here.